Oh, girl. Let go. Which Put you on the Prada, say me feeling bad. I'll be looking like the nigga that to wish you hard. What's up, you guys? So today's video is going to be a fun one. Girl, let me tell y'all. I'm not really sure if they tried it with this name, but girl, listen, hunty. But before we even start, you guys know how I always tell you, like, you can go to Ulta and get the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray. It's like $4.99. You can either buy it online or in store. Girl, listen not no more honey i'm not really sure what happened to the hairspray online or in store at ulta.com but they damn sure ain't selling it no more girl listen there was none they don't even have it listed didn't say sold out didn't say unavailable didn't say you know not making it no more didn't say discontinued didn't say anything but the only thing that they did have for sale was the normal got to be in the yellow can i had to go on a online search for the best price of the got to be glam force Hairspray. I love Amazon. Amazon is like the business to me. Period! But let me tell y'all, when you do search the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray, be very apprehensive about the first one you click on because that one might tell you that it's $99. I have seen them, yes. No, you're not getting a boatload of them. You're getting one. Honey, you're getting one. And then I do see some for $24 and you still ain't getting a boatload you get in one. I did find, finally. I searched, I searched on eBay, I searched online, and then I did come up with one on Amazon. So you do get a three pack, honey, three packs. Now, yeah, it is a couple dollars more than what I would have paid on Ulta.com, but girl, this is the cheapest that I did find, three cans, like the normal size can, three cans for $19. You know, I have Prime, so it's free shipping. They are normally like five, $5.99, $6 and some change. So it kind of adds up. Normally when I get it from Ulta, it was on sale. And had I known that they were going to discontinue selling it, a girl would have bought out every last one. Gotta check Amazon. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Also, you guys already know how I tell you guys. Make sure you have some good hair tools, some clips. Go to the Dollar Tree. But damn, these were at the Dollar Tree. Let me tell you guys about this wig company. So they reached out to me. They are actually an Amazon seller. Hello, Amazon. And the wigs are fairly cheap. Like, you know. They even got braid wigs on lace wigs now. I mean, on Amazon now. Girl, let me tell y'all. You know what, Amazon, you could return just about anything if you got Prime. So I'm just saying, if you get the braid wig and you really don't like the braid wig and you like, girl, this is not for me, you could return. Now let's get on to the tea or the coffee. Whatever you want to call it, baby. Just pull up a drink. Pull up, okay. So I was contacted by this company and not really sure what their name was when they... Hit me up on my email. They just said they was an Amazon company. I looked them up. They wanted to send me this 10-inch curly bob. When I got the package in the mail, I was like, okay, what does this say on the box? It looks like it says Nike, but with the R at the end. Like, you know, N-I-K-E-R, hair. And I was the only one that was in the room at the time. You know, my daughter, Nay, was there. My daughter, Tati, was there. And my daughter-in-law, Michaela was there too. It's like looking at the box before I even said anything to anybody, you know, because sometimes, you know, I mispronounce stuff, you know, I can definitely mispronounce something. I kept looking at the box like, okay, girl, you can get this. Maybe it says Niker, Niker hair, Nicker hair. There was no other way to pronounce it. Then I was like, maybe if I say Nike with an R, it'd be like perfect. Nikeer, Niker? Like there was no way to pronounce it. Then I was like, let me just pretend like it says bike, but with the N, bike, Niker. So, you know, I'm like, hold up. Did, did you really try this? I gave it to my daughter, Nay, and I was like, did they, can you pronounce this? Like, what does this say? And she was like, it looks like it's wanting to say the N word and showed it to Michaela. She was like, oh, they, they reach him. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, N-I-K-E-R, but to me, it sounds like Niker hair or Nicker hair, Nicker, Nicker hair, like bike, Niker hair, Niker hair. Oh, <laughs> girl. What y'all trying to say? Girl is really confused. Some of these wig brands, like, you know what I'm saying, these wig websites, the names that they come up with are really disturbing. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Let's just get into this video. I did bleach it and I did um, pre-pluck it. 
And I did sew in an elastic band in this bad boy. Like, I'm not sure if it's a bad boy or not, but listen, it's curly, it's short, it's 10 inches. And it comes with, I think it's 13 by six or four inches of parting, honey. And it has the combs and elastic band and an adjustable strap in the back. So it's curly. The lace color is actually really decent. Okay, it's it's kind of matching. It's, it's almost like, I'm not saying it's about to melt. So let's just do this, you guys. I'm going to put this wig on, this 10-inch curly bob lace front. I'm thinking like it's 13 by 4 inches. I mean, because like normally that's what I get from Amazon. So I'll just link everything below for you guys. So I did bleach it, as I told you guys. And I did use the purple shampoo to just take away the brassiness and pre-pluck it. It's a really easy wig, um, you know what I mean? It's cute, especially for those who like short hair and all that stuff, you know? So you just want to take your scissors out and just cut the lace off of the unit. And I'm just cutting really slow and trying to make some little dips and curves into the unit instead of just cutting it straight across. I don't really like to cut it straight across because then it gets you more work to do. And I'm just going to take some of that excess lace that's above, that's over my ear, and I'm going to cut it off because sometimes the wig is too big and it'll fall over your ear. So you just want to take a rat tail comb and just part directly above your ear with that rat tail comb on your lace wig and whatever is left underneath the comb like flapping over your ear you want to cut along that part to remove it because your wig will be a lot more comfortable girl and it'll lay a lot more flatter i hate when my wigs used to be so big so you know as always i'm gonna make some baby hairs like because this is not transparent lace but it looks really decent for the price especially for amazon you know everybody loves amazon this is where I'm gonna cut off the extra piece of lace, as I was saying, like above my ear. So, I mean, I know this is not really a good, like, spot where you can see really well, but you guys seen me do this enough times, so you already know. Now that it's fitting properly, it's time to make those baby hairs, sideburn hairs, you know, wispy hairs, you know, adult hairs, you know, whatever you wanna call them, you know? And with a curly wig, it's super easy because the curly wig is so full, you don't really need it to be perfectly neat. So you take your scissors or your eyebrow trimmers and you get to cutting. that got to be fantastic mousse and I'm just going to brush the hair backwards and into the hair and then I'm just going to form the sideburns and also I'm going to um you know form the baby hairs as you guys noticed I did not even hairspray the wig down because I really did not feel like it like it's curly hair. You don't really have to do a lot with curly hair because it's going to get camouflaged regardless because it's curly hair. But I will take my hairspray and put it on my favorite all-time toothbrush and just sculpt my baby hairs with that. So that'll give me like a little bit of hold. You ever notice that when you're doing your own hair, you make these weird faces. Like I noticed that after I re like edit my video, why do I make these faces when I'm like spraying the hairspray out or the mousse? Like why? You ever you ever catch yourself making like these weird faces? I'm just trying to finagle this hairline because I don't really like baby hairs too much in the front. For some reason, it would not stick down right here. I just wanted it, the sideburns to stick down. That was it. I've had enough. So let's just go ahead and style this hair. 
Now being that it's dry and it looks a little crazy, I'm just gonna take my condition, my water, my spray bottle with some conditioner in it. And I'm going to kind of like saturate, not saturate, no, because I would not want that wet all over me. But I'm just gonna dampen it a little bit, use some of my pressed powder, you know, and that's about all. This was an easy wig, you know, it's curly. Curly is always easy. That's the back, you guys. She's cute, hey. So I'm not really sure when those dogs outside are gonna shut up and stop barking, but let's just get into the review, the whole reason why I'm here, okay, for Niker hair. I didn't say it, okay? I'm just telling you what it says. I am, don't kill the messenger. You guys, I did not even blow dry it down. I didn't feel like it, okay? I'm not saying that it's because of the name or anything like that. I just said I didn't feel like it. Sometimes you just don't wanna do all of that. I did have to put a little hairspray on some of the sideburn hairs, like one here. And this part, I'm not really sure why it's not sticking down, but it's probably because I have foundation on and I forgot to take it off. But for 10 inches, like, it's cute. For those of you who like short hair, it's very full, it's affordable. I cannot remember how much it costs. Okay, so the wig is 150% density. It is 10 inches, like I said. 10 inches is $78.99. So, I mean, the price is pretty cheap still because it's under $100. You know what I'm saying? We always want to spend under... Listen, I don't really want to spend much of anything. But if you have to, I really would prefer to spend at least 100 under for a wig. But who's to say what you're getting is going to be top-notch quality? The lace is meltable. I'm not saying it's like top-notch, like on a scale of 1 to 10. What would I grade it? I would say like an 8. The hair texture is great. The quality of the hair is nice. Like it curls perfect. It's soft. It's bouncy. It's easy, fluffable. And you could definitely fill it out, fill it out, fill it out, fluff it out, whatever you want to call it. I like the curl pattern of it. It's kind of layered, so it is definitely layered, which is great for curly hair. Listen, there wasn't really much in that box that I could like tell you guys about but the wig the wig was in there okay I'm not asking you for anything extra but a good wig all right if you put some good stuff in there I'm happy about that but listen I just want a good wig if you got Amazon Prime your stuff comes on time I'll post your info below for you guys I love you all deuces and stay cute and you know all that good stuff make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up, and share it like i always tell you guys share the video like share it with your friends your your grandkids your aunties your uncles your nephews your nieces your cousins your ex-boyfriends your husband your husband just share it okay <laughs>